Okay, good morning everyone. This is Carl F. Rose recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania on Monday. Let's see, it's April. April what? Um, I never remember. Um, April 13th. Let me start with my music here. Uh, get going here. <laughs> Okay, and now let me start off with um, my uh, disclaimer. Start off with the um, alarm. Okay, if you're 13 years old or younger, um, please leave this podcast now. This is uh, not uh, uh, content uh, for uh, targeted for children. Okay, good morning. Uh, this is Carl F. Rose, and uh, this morning um, we're just going to talk about uh, being uh, locked down and um, uh, stuck inside, uh, and especially if you have pets. This is mainly about pets, and for me, I'm a cat owner, and um, uh, as much as um, it's important for all of us people to get exercise, uh, many people don't really think about their pets, and um uh, their pets. The pets need exercise uh, just as much as uh, um, people do, and uh, you know, including cats. Now, a lot of you know, if you have a dog and you're stuck inside, you go out and walk your dog and give them exercise because they got to go out and they do their business. But usually, especially if you have an inside cat, um, you know, they have the litter box and all that. But uh, what I do is, um, is every morning I get up and I. I play with him for about a night and he's got plenty of space to run back and forth. And I do that for about 10 or 15 minutes and uh, before I feed him or anything. And um, uh, it's essential for cats to have uh, play time. And that's, and, and I, I don't limit it to just the morning, but throughout the day I take little breaks and play with them. Um, but especially in the morning, I get him going before I feed, before I feed him. And uh, that, that gets up his, uh, his desire to eat and um uh, if i don't do that and i just give him his food right away he doesn't really eat that much so um so i get him going get his exercise and that um uh, gets uh, uh, gets him where he uh, builds up his appetite and that sort of thing and um uh, that's just the, our daily routine and um, he's kind of uh, used to it. And if I kind of get out of my routine, he knows, like uh, some days I'm, I've got something else going on and I don't really get to it right away. <laughs> I got a pretty smart cat and uh, uh, he doesn't like out of order. So um, so it's a good routine to get into. And um, he's he'll be seven. Uh, he'll be seven in July. And he weighs about 15 pounds. So it's mainly muscle. It's not fat. Um, but I, I do see a lot of cats on, on the internet and stuff. And, um, uh, sadly their owners let them get overweight and some of them, you know, end up with diabetes and that sort of thing. And, and that is really important. You, you don't really want to get your cat or dog for that matter. I knew someone with a beautiful black Labrador at one point in time. And, um, I can't remember the weight, but thankfully is because my friend's mother got on his case about him and, um, um, uh, and got him to get his dog, uh, exercise because the dog was getting overweight and the mother wasn't going to have anything to do with it. So she made him get the dog out, him and the dog to get out and exercise and the dog lost weight. But, but the thing is, you know, just like humans, if, you know, um, if you're lounging around, if you're, um, uh, not, uh, uh, physically active, basically sedentary, just not doing anything while you're, you're not uh, fueling your body and, 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 and fat develops. And that's when you get into all kinds of problems and it happens with your pets, um, as well as uh, with us. So it's really important during these times that, that we not only take care of ourselves, but we need to take care of our furry friends too. So that way they don't get any underlying issues. Um, Anyway, um, this was kind of probably a quicker, shorter podcast than usual, but um, if you're listening to this on my YouTube channel, um, 
be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because during this time um, I'm hitting um, I'm hitting a problem here with it because I am losing a lot of subscribers so it's really important uh, to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification plus I have a um, on my YouTube channel I've got the uh, Carl's Corner podcast be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification plus in order to keep these to to help pay for these things I, um, I need some support here and I have a PayPal uh, button on my channel or on my YouTube channel be sure to uh, uh, hit the, the PayPal button on my channel art um, donate whatever you can I know it, things are hard for everybody right now um, uh, whatever you can do 5, 10, 50, 100 whatever you can do to contribute to this channel so I can continue doing these podcasts and continue doing because I really need all the support I can so please again hit the subscribe button and the bell notification I'm losing people right and left and, and um uh, uh, and YouTube seems to be um, favoring the big channels. This is not fair to me. Um, and this is just killing me. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. And I'll be able to continue doing these. And um, um, we will talk to you again next time.